Hey there folks, Mark here on the Culinary Compass. It's a uh, beautiful August afternoon and I received an email from a friend of mine yesterday who said, Mark, will you please do a Culinary Compass episode on what to do with all of the excess tomatoes uh, that uh, so many of us are dealing with at this time of year? Well, it is mid-August, and so I totally get it. Uh, these babies are coming in fast and furious right now. So the first piece of advice I have for you in relation to dealing with too many tomatoes is eat more tomatoes um, on a regular basis. I will just cut this baby right in half, flip it over, put it on a plate, sprinkle some sea salt on it, maybe a little balsamic vinegar. Another thing is I think that gazpacho is something that a lot of people are kind of concerned about doing. They're not sure about how to make it. And it really is so simple. And once you get into a rhythm of making gazpacho and you enjoy it, you're gonna wanna eat it every day. I actually put it into mugs and virtually drink the stuff. So as far as gazpacho goes, just put away any recipe that anybody tells you to use. Here's what you do. Take tomatoes, throw it in a Cuisinart, grind them, blend them, skins on, okay? Don't worry about boiling them and peeling the skins. Just don't even go there. All right, do it with a ton of tomatoes, right? Beautiful. Chop up some green peppers, nice and fine. Jeez, chop up any vegetable you like nice and fine. Some onions, maybe some shallots, um, green peppers. Cut up little pieces of squash, doesn't really matter. The tomato is the base. You now have this bowl of a beautiful juicy melange. Squeeze some lemon in it. Put a little bit of vinegar in there. Just play around with it. You are gonna have a gazpacho before you know it. Chop up some fresh parsley, a little bit of dill. Go any direction you want. A little bit more acidic, a little bit more lemon juice. Put it in the refrigerator, let it sit in there for six hours, four hours. Take it out, and here's a trick somebody taught me once. In your bowl, put some ice cubes. Pour in the gazpacho and enjoy. Now, if you have a problem consuming too many tomatoes, as far as I'm concerned, you're not eating enough gazpacho, okay? Because there's no more beautiful way to deal with a large quantity of tomatoes than a good gazpacho. Some of us make tomato sauce. Again, way too highfalutin ways to make tomato sauce. Here's how you make tomato sauce. And I'm not even gonna show you any of these things because it's just too darn simple to bother. How do you make tomato sauce? Here's the simplest way. Take the tomatoes, grind them up in a Cuisinart. Again, skins on. Take all of that juice, pour it into a pot. Chop up some onions. Put that in a pan separately. Start to simmer down your tomatoes on a nice low heat. Saute your onions, some garlic, whatever you want in there to give it some nice flavor. A ton of herbs, some thyme, some oregano. And get yourself this beautiful slaw, this almost caramelized slaw of onions as the base. Then take that, dump it into the reduced sauce and reduce it as much as you want. You've got tomato sauce. Done, fini, basta, simple, okay? All right, now, assuming you've made your tomato sauce and you have a freezer, Obviously, just pop it into either freezer bags or into jars, and you're good to go. The last thing I want to suggest to you in relation to tomatoes, something that I think a lot of us don't normally do, is to dry them. Basically, take a tomato like this and cut it into six or eighths, right? Just boom, boom, boom. Take the tomato pieces, put them on a baking sheet. Put them in your oven at the lowest temperature you can put it at, 200 degrees is usually what most ovens can get down to. Three hours later, you just keep an eye, three hours later, you will find these tomatoes have shriveled up and condensed themselves. They've basically dried out. Um, once they are really dry, take them off, let them cool down, scoop them right off, and just throw them into a plastic baggie. Give yourself small baggies where you can portion out, you know, a handful or two, right? And then in winter, if you're making a vinaigrette, go ahead and chop up some of those tomatoes. Mash them up and put them in your vinaigrette for your salad. Take those tomatoes, grind them up, mix them with a little bit of mayonnaise, maybe a little bit of olive oil, and you have a beautiful spread for a bruschetta. All right, so that's it for the Culinary Compass today. I didn't show you how to do anything, but as you can see, or at least as you heard, this stuff is so simple, you don't need to even worry about a recipe and you don't need to worry about somebody showing you. Just get in there and give it a go. All right, folks, ciao for now.